Hi everybody, welcome to Art Less Ordinary, I'm Ben. So, I did a painting last night, but for some reason the video recorder stopped and you didn't get to see me do it. But this is it, it's not fully dry, but I was super happy with it, but um, just didn't turn out. So these are Peebo I don't I think that's how you pronounce it Peebo paints and they're um, iridescent so these really shine up quite well as it's drying but I'm um, disappointed the video didn't work but that happens at times so that one there isn't here but tonight I have these um, I'm going to do a sandwich pour so haven't been feeling 100% today, so I'm um, just doing something nice and simple, um, and I like them. I wanted to do a purple one for a while, but I couldn't find the right colours, so I went through my paints and I got the right colours. Um, well, hopefully. <laughs> so I wanted to do a purple one. I actually, I wanted to do a green, but I couldn't find the right greens, so I'm doing a purple. So I have... Um, Raudo di Polo. This is purple. Actually, is it purple or ultraviolet? No, nah, it's purple. So I have purple and I have a limited edition one that's called Breeze. Then I also mixed um, purple with white to make this lighter purple and purple with black to make this very deep, rich purple. So the goal is to add them into the middle of the whites so you'll get an assortment of colours come through. Um, I didn't really want to mess around with doing anything too elaborate. Um, my head really doesn't feel like anything too exciting today. So we will go with what we've got. Um, so these paints are thicker. So I mixed the colours one and a half one part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium and I mix the whites one part paint to two parts pouring medium and the pouring medium is Elmer's clear glue clear glue 70% water 30% so I've got two cups of white which were 50 grams paint and 100 grams pouring medium so I've got enough to do three cups so we are just going to layer this in so a third of the cup is white. No, a third, pour in a third of this cup. So I liked the two sandwich pours that I did before and I thought nah, I would like a purple one. So that's what I have done. Now I have forgotten to add the silicon again. I try and do it before I do the video but I forgot. So I have Montmartre silicon oil and I'm going to put five drops in each colour except for the whites. There we go. Now, for me, this is a personal preference. I mix the silicon in extremely well. Um, I prefer the silicon to be very well balanced within the cup and not just in one area. I also find when you do a sandwich pour, you do tend to get colors in one area more than the other. So it's good to actually have the silicon spread out. Otherwise you get areas with cells and areas without cells. So by mixing it through well, you give the chance of the silicon to be more spread out throughout the whole image. So there's the two lighter ones and when we layer these we want to go light dark light dark 
or dark light. Just we just need to mix them up, otherwise it makes the cells pop more. So you actually see the the colours in the cells in a better assortment. Okay. And there is a little bit more of this, the very dark purple in the cup, only because more came out and instead of trying to get it back into its container, I thought it would be easier to just mix up a larger amount. So here we go. We want to layer this on top of the white, not smash it down into it. So just do it gently. So what you what you're trying to achieve here is to have the white at the bottom, then your colours in the middle, and then the white at the top. So I learnt this by watching Julie Katz videos and I I liked it. I thought it was fun. I don't know if she was the first one to do them or not. Um, I don't, I'm not able to watch every artist's videos just because I just don't have time. But Julie is one I do watch frequently. So I do pick up ideas from her. And this is like a flip cup, but um, I liked the pattern that it gave. It kind of gave a different assortment of um, cells and the way that the colour mixed. I've always been a big fan of flip cups, so this was just a another take on on them now we go to the next light one which is the breeze the breeze is quite a pale color compared to um all the others but it should give just give some difference to it And I just do one layer of each colour. Because there's not a lot of the colour paint. Um, it was approximately 25 grams paint and 62 grams pouring medium. 62, 63, it depended. Um, if the paint was a little bit thicker, I just added a tiny little bit more pouring medium just to make them even. Consistency is the key with a lot of these. You just need the colours to be as consistent as possible. Um, except for the white, you want the white to be a little bit thinner. Not much, but just a little bit. And did you see how I know I put the very lightest purple in the middle? not near the edge of, of the white, because I thought it just won't show up as good. So I went medium, darkest, lightest, and then the second medium. So that's all them done. And now all you're gonna do is just top it up with the other white. Again, just layering it on top.
trying to keep your cups as even as possible. Okay, there we go. I try and do this part quickly so I don't bore you too much. Now, there is um, bubbles in these. They haven't been sitting long enough. It's not that, it's not the end of the world, um, but if you're able to let the paint sit for an hour or so, or even longer, um, that would be great. But I don't have time to do that today, so that's how it is. So see how these bubbles are popping? And the purple's actually coming through underneath. So we're going to flip these over. This is the fun part. Sometimes they flip good. Sometimes they don't. They flipped perfect. Oh, what a good day. Well, <laughs> that part was. We'll see how the rest turns out. I'm going to double check that this is recording before I go further. Yes, it is. It was so disappointing because um, I really enjoyed last night's um, artwork and I used new paints that I hadn't used before. So it was just a little bit frustrating that it didn't record. But we get that. So I've got holidays in a couple of weeks' time. So that would give me a chance to actually do a few extra artworks and maybe do some different styles um, without my brain being stressed from work <laughs> I have a corner catcher if I need it um, it's getting quite thick probably should make up another one so now we're going to pull these cups down and start on this so the paint is thick Just putting a little bit on the edges because this will get tipped off anyway. So sometimes you want your paint to be thick to actually give you the right effects. But you do end up having leftover paint sitting in the cup. It's just how it goes. And last one. Okay, so there's a lot more white there compared to the other two, but we'll see what happens when I start tilting. So I'm going to tilt down towards me and fill up this bottom area. But first what we do is we go side to side and get the paint to kind of reach all areas. Paints over here, so I'm going to go down over this corner. Over and back. And then I'm going to come down and just tip off this little bit off this corner. And I need to get that stuff off the side. There we go. Over, yep, and back. Didn't really want to get on that corner. It's been difficult. The paint's very, very thick, so it doesn't go over the corners as easy. 
And I don't mind if my lines aren't straight, they don't need to be. So I'm actually going to go over this white corner first because that's the one that's causing me the most frustration. There's too much white there. So up, over, come back. This is not pouring so even. Might have made it slightly too thick. And then up and over and then come back. So I do want to get off more of that white. So I am going to tilt sideways until I can get some more of that white off. There we go. That's why it's good to have some extra paint. So you can manipulate things like that a little bit. Just bringing the paint down to the center. And I'm going to make sure these edges are covered. Yeah, they are. I'm just running my fingers underneath the bottom to get those excess drips off. You can use your palette knife. I'm just using my finger for now. I'll palette knife that again soon. Getting my gloves off. So it's a bit of a different design. I find with these um, sandwich pours you do get different designs depending on how it's layered or how the paint wants to be. Oh, sorry. Still not feeling 100%, so my concentration keeps wavering. So now I'm going to get the blow torch, but don't get too close. Start off high and work your way. There are bubbles in here, I need them to pop. But they will pop from a higher distance compared to getting cells up here. So I'm getting some cells. So just moving the torch around constantly. You can do one area as long as you go in a circle motion or something to keep the heat not penetrating in one spot for too long. So I'm not getting a lot of cells, so I might have to just get that little bit closer. But be careful, there is a fine line between being too far away and being too close. I did use a bit of silicon, so I know it's there.
So there's a couple of spots the cells don't want to appear. And when they have appeared in this white, make sure you put that where you're not going to touch it. They've kind of gone a little bit different compared to how the cells are formed in the other colours. Probably because the colour underneath had the silicon and it's pushed up in like a cluster through that thick white and kind of given me like little flowers instead of um, individual cells. It's kind of made flower cells. So this one's quite different again to the first two. Um, this pink one I torched halfway through and then again at the end and gave me quite a different look. The blue one actually probably turned out the best. Um, but I did use Montmartre paints with the blue. These are Araldo Di Polo, so I'm the paints behave a little bit differently. Um, these paints sometimes feel thicker, so you've got to mix them to they're thinner, but then you can go that little bit too far quite easily where they um, don't hold its shape as much. But I do love the cells that have appeared, like really cool areas. This area is really nice. I love down here and these right there. There's a whole lot of cells in here, but they're all quite small. Then we've got these bigger ones where there's more white because the white was thinner. So that's why the white ones seem to be growing more than their colours. But this is it. So I'm not going to mess around too much with it. I'm overheating a little bit now with my head. So I got a headache and I think I got a slight temperature. So I'm going to scrape my edges. Then I'm going to come down for a close-up and show you guys what it looks like closer. And leave this to do its thing. Sometimes the cells grow a little bit more. The paint's quite thick, so they may not grow more than what they already have. Um, we'll just wait and see. So scrape this again after about another 10 minutes or 5 minutes because there was a lot of paint and there's probably going to be quite a bit, um, there still might be a bit of overflow that runs off. So let's go down for a close up. So there we go guys, quite different again, kind of got more of a white side and more of a purple side but it's not overly unbalanced. It's just um, got a bit of a difference to it, each side. These are my favourite cells over here. Both the ones all far to the right and the ones in the middle, they're both really cool. But got really nice cells that kind of appear all the way down. There's a whole bunch coming across where it's very... See how the white cells are quite big compared to the coloured? And then we got these flower cells, which came up in the white. Oops, focus camera. Very different again. And then back to normal, normal looking cells over here. And that's where we got tons of tiny little ones. Really cool in there. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm starting to feel a bit unwell. I need to go lie down. So I hope you guys like this. So comment, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I'll be feeling better tomorrow and I can actually do um, something a little bit more thought out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, have a great evening and I'll see you soon for another pour. All right, bye.